Okay. A very warm evening to one and all who are present here. I'm Pune Chandru, co-founder of TechWithMec, Adi Chinchin Green Institute of Technology, Chikkamagaluru. It's given me a great pleasure to welcome you all to this Ultimate Placement Guide webinar. A hearty welcome to Dr. G.M. Satyanarayana, our HOD of Mechanical Engineering, professors, speakers, and my college mates and students and teaching, fa teaching faculties from other colleges for your presence. I'm very honorable. I'm very honored to specially welcome today's speakers who are from our own college. Mr. Nishant, our alumni working at Rakuten, Bengaluru, and Mr. Shiv Prakash from IS department who got placed in Infosys. Lastly, I would like to thank all who are the part of this webinar. Now I would like now I would like Rakshat to, to take over the platform. Thank you. Thank you, Purnachandra. Thank you. So today I am going to introduce our two speakers. Firstly, I introduce Nishant, who has been graduated from uh, our college, Arjun Singhari Institute of Technology. At 2020, from uh, EEC department, he has worked as an intern in Buzzy Developer uh, during his third year of engineering and worked as an intern uh, at Rakuten during final sem. And now he has placed uh, as an associate uh, software engineer in Rakuten. He has, conducted, uh, he has conducted several uh, uh, webinars and workshops in our colleges uh, so, uh, on various topics. And uh, I welcome him on behalf of my team and college. Welcome to you, Nishant. Thank you, Rakshat. Thank you so much. Ah. Now I uh, introduce uh, our uh, senior, Shiva Prakash, who, who got placed at Infosys. He has been campus ambassador from Intershala and ESL IIT Bom uh, Bombay. He has also participated in Avishkar Project Phase 2 held at VTU Belgam, conducted several workshops on DBMS and mini projects has also conducted uh, debates and also completed his NPTEL course and got silver plus elite certificate and also been a freelancer who helps students for mini projects and major projects. So uh, I welcome Shiva Prakash on behalf of my department, college and my team. I welcome to you, Shiva Prakash. Thank you, Rakshit. Uh, so let us not waste the further time. So I hand over uh, to Nishant so you can uh, commence, Nishant. Sure, sure. Okay, uh, can you confirm if I'm audible? Yeah, yeah, you're audible. Yes. Sure. So, hi guys. Uh, I see most of you guys are uh, from AIT. So, some of you might have seen me and some of you might have not known me. So, uh, just a quick intro of myself. Uh, so, I've uh, graduated from AIT Chikmagur uh, in the 2020 batch. And uh, right now, I'm working as an associate software engineer in Rakuten, India. So, um, Coming to my uh, personal hobbies, uh, I love speed cubing. I uh, travel a lot uh, and uh, I do a lot of photography, uh, which I have an Instagram page for. And uh, today, uh, so basically, uh, we'll just be talking about a few of uh, you know my experiences and uh, certain uh, uh, tips that I have gathered over time uh, for uh, getting a good uh, you know a good performance in your interviews and how you can uh, talk well in your interviews. So, uh, of course, I'm not a very experienced uh, person in this matter, but I'll, be, I'll just be uh, speaking about the experiences I have had till now and what I feel is the best thing to do. So, uh, I see the whole lot. Uh, there are many people uh, from, I guess, the CS branch. So, I am guessing this is uh, mainly for the people who are aiming for software companies. So uh, let's uh, you know start with the basics like what are required and what you need uh, in order to face an interview. So uh, if you're actually uh, wanting to work in a software company, so the main thing that they expect from you since you are a fresher is that you have a basic fundamental knowledge of any programming language as such. As far as I know, there have been like many companies who only look only for, you know, uh, skill in just one language. You don't need to know every language on the earth. You just need to know one language well. And you have to have a certain level of logical thinking and problem solving ability. So this is your uh, main focus that you need to uh, put on. So uh, let me start with how you can start to prepare. So uh, I guess I'm guessing most of you are from uh, maybe third year. I see a few second year students also. So 
how do you start to prepare for an interview or how do you start to prepare yourself to learn a particular coding language so uh, you know coding is mainly um, mainly related to your problem solving skills and logical abilities because you can get codes you can get syntaxes all right on google right now right nobody who is if you just speak to people who are working in the software industry you would come to know that most of them don't even you know remember syntaxes for a certain function or anything like that so it's mainly you know the logic you know what you have to do and it's basically about of googling around searching stuff and then implementing whatever we need to implement so uh, as a language you don't need to you know put too much stress into understanding every single there uh, thing that is there to know about a language so a language is just a medium of converting whatever logic you have in order to solve the problem you just have a medium in order to convert that into a working program right so uh, as far as uh, people who are from the cs branch and i guess ec branch you guys would have already you know, learned a good bit of programming uh, cs branch and ec branch i guess like you would probably have somewhere uh, c or c++ maybe somewhere you would have encountered in your first years and maybe in your third year you would have learned about c++ and data structures and stuff so i guess that is pretty solid knowledge uh, through which you can uh, be able to face interviews so uh, how do you start so just pick up a particular language whichever you might have you know encountered before say c or c++ so people who would have done your uh, computer science in your uh, second pu you might be a little bit familiar with any one of the programming language so just pick up that language and you know start uh, start learning the basics so there are a few basic things in a language so you have standard ways of declaring variables initializing variables and you have standard ways of writing functions and stuff and then you need syntaxes for like loops and uh, you have if else statements switch case statements all these things just remain constant throughout every language so if you take out any programming language that is there these are the concepts that would be there in all the programming languages so these are the stuffs first you need to get very acquainted with and going forward later on you can focus on stuff like data structures which is very very important so it might not be very important or very relevant in your initial stages of your career but as you grow data structures and algorithms are going to be a major part of your career so uh, you need to also start focusing on that so you know i it's very easy to tell that you need to start learning a language and do stuff and all these things but how do you actually start right many people have this dilemma of you know i want to do it but how do i start so a very very easy method of starting would be like just pick up a project so say uh, you start with a web project say i want to make an app that will show me the weather it's a very simple concept right but when you work on that application you will learn a lot about that particular language that goes behind building it so it might be javascript or it might be any uh, front end language like react js or angular js that you would use to design the front end language and you can also implement a back end where you can store the weather of you know historical data so you can also learn a bit about back end like mysql and you have uh, other type of back ends like no sql back ends maybe mongo db and stuff like that so uh, these are the things and then you will also be uh, you know familiarized by why, what is required in a particular application so you might need to know about apis so apis is a stuff which will allow you to interact between the application using the api so these are the general things that comes into picture when you look in uh, when you look in depth into a web application or any application as such be it an android application ios application every application requires these stuff so a back end a front end and apis so these are the three major components that are required in an application so when you pick up a project something related to you know just a simple project maybe displaying the weather so that is a very simple concept right we know that we can get the weather in many other websites it's not a, a original idea but you can start to work on it in order to understand these concepts so this is the first step that you can take so and learn as you start doing the project so in that matter you will be learning where to apply the things that you learn so this i have seen to be the best approach you can follow in order to learn a particular programming language pick up a project and start working on it and google a lot 
so google will provide you with loads and loads of information which you would not even you know find in many books it has consolidated information of everything so you uh, you might take a particular book there might not be some information in that book but you can find it on google right so always google you can learn a lot of new stuff in google and google and google so this is one major part how you can start preparing for your technical interviews right so uh, when it comes to technical interviews now let's get to the interview part what happens in an interview and how you need to face it right so when uh, when you are in a technical interview so uh, the usually what they do is they will ask you a certain say a few number of few questions uh, based on the basics of a programming language and then they would try uh, straight away jump into a coding problem right so they would said uh, they would give you a problem and uh, ask you to implement it in any language that you know so language will never be the barrier they'll ask you to implement in any language you know so what i have seen most of the time is like when you when the interviewer gives their questions like this so they or the students who are attending the interview immediately jump into coding so that's a very bad thing to do because you still don't know what you are going to do you have not analyzed the problem you straight away jump into coding thinking that once i start to code i'll start understanding the problem this is a very bad approach so a good approach would be to start explaining what approach you would follow so uh, say if it is a calculator application that they ask you to write so it's a simple example right so uh, they st- you start uh, ask them whether there is a possibility of negative numbers ask them whether there are possibilities where you would get answers as in infinity so these are all the separate cases that can occur in your program right and then uh, explain to them the various approaches that you have to the problem so tell them like one approach would be you would ask the user uh, a selection to select whether he needs to do multiplication or subtraction or addition and then you will ask him two or two numbers and then you will perform that operation on these two numbers so this is the approach so explain this approach to your interviewer and explain the logic that you would follow in this approach right so in this matter so what happens is the interviewer gets to know about your thought process so since you are seeing the interviewer for the first time and he is seeing you for the first time it is very difficult or uh, not difficult but it is you know uh, it is very important that you deliver a good first impression because this is the first time you are speaking to him so the more you explain your thought process to the interviewer the more better he would understand about what kind of logical ability or what kind of problem solving abilities that you possess so this is a very good approach that you can follow in technical interviews don't straight away jump into the coding part so first start with the approach ask whether there are different conditions that might occur so these are called the edge cases edge cases are basically the cases which can appear say for example if it is a calculator application uh, getting infinity as the answer might be an edge case right get and getting negative numbers as input is an edge case so these are the stuff which would not be there in a common input so if i say common calculator you would Uh, by default assume that it is positive numbers right and some of your logics might not work if the numbers are negative or if it is returning a very huge value it might not work so these are the conditions that you should you should ask your interviewer and sometimes they might also assume that certain conditions are not there so these are the things that you will get a very clear picture about and then explain the logic and the approach that you are following and then start with the coding part so with the coding part sometimes you might forget the syntax you might forget stuff while writing the code and it's not at all a problem you can always tell the interviewer that i am not remembering the syntax and i'll just uh, i know what to do here but i am not exactly remembering the syntax say for example you want a syntax to append a particular number to an array and you don't know what is the syntax say it's dot append or dot add you don't know the syntax just tell the interviewer i'm not sure about the syntax but i know i have to add the element to the array here so this is what i'll use and i'll be able to get the syntax from google anyways right so following this approach you would be able to convey your thought process right to the interviewer so the interviewer would be very sure whether you are capable of solving a problem or not so this is what they are aiming for most of the times they don't even bother whether you are able to give the correct answer whether you are able to create the program which works also so the main thing the uh, interviewer looks at is how you think and how you approach the particular problem 
and once you are done with this approach you can start expl- uh, exploring the cases that they have given say they, if they don't give a test case take a particular test case say if it for calculator take a test case where you have two negative integers and take another case where you might have float so that is decimal values so when you do this the interviewer gets to know that you are focused on the end to end product not just on the code so this way he would know that you are capable enough of solving the problem and also identifying what might be certain edge cases which might not occur in the regular scenarios so these are the few tips that i feel would be very helpful for the technical interviews right and uh, along with the technical interviews you'll we'll also have hr interviews right so for hr interviews the main you know the uh, a devil question that is everybody is very scared of is basically tell me about yourself so how how do you tell uh, you know how do you give a short introduction of yourself it, it needs to be very concise right so you can uh, start with uh, your uh, currently if you're pursuing your degree tell that and then next you can start with like uh, telling about a few stuff you are interested in uh, maybe you are interested in some programming language or maybe you are interested in dance and art and stuff like that and give a brief introduction of yourself it should it need not be very long it, it can be very short and it needs to be very precise so it it needs to be in a way that you are conveying your character through your introduction so it is a very crucial point in an interview so giving a proper introduction will always make sure that you strike a very good first impression with your interviewer so this is one question and uh, uh, right now since you are attending your interviews as a fresher so i guess most of the companies will not be asking uh, any questions related to salary negotiation since they have a fixed package right so uh, that is not a thing to worry about right now so uh, as long as hr interviews concerns so you need to be very confident in whatever you are answering be it a wrong answer or the right answer whatever it is be very confident and if you don't know anything be feel free to tell that you do not know about it it's always good to express that you don't know something rather than trying to make up some answer on the spot and failing to do so that will always leave a negative impact on you so always try to focus on being very confident right and always strike up a good conversation so that is the major uh, thing that you need to do in the interview to strike up a good conversation with the interviewer because they are also human and you are also human so the more you communicate the more they get to understand about you and that will be a very good uh, uh, you know uh, first impression that you are leaving on them so maybe there might be some person who has uh, you know done excellently well in coding but uh, when it comes to hr interview uh, so he is not able to speak properly so these are the cases that actually happen right so people uh, clear coding rounds in their interviews which are very difficult very complex and then come and fail in the hr round so why this happens is because you are not confident enough be confident and always be bold and uh, speak up like whatever you need to tell and just tell it so uh, always make sure that you are not uh, keeping thoughts which are not expressed so uh, it's a better uh, way of you know uh, making sure that the conversation is two way not one way it shouldn't be like the interviewer asks questions and you answer should it should be both of us like you might, you also can ask questions about the company understand about the vision of the company or the mission of the company so all these things are certain questions that you need to prepare right so always have these set of questions prepared so you can ask about you know how maybe how is the work life balance in the company and what is their experience in the company so these are all the things that show the interviewer that you are really interested or keen on joining the company so i think this is like the major chunk of it so be confident and uh, whenever you speak make sure that you are actually conveying whatever you are thinking so that is a major uh, thing that you need to do and uh, focus on improving and developing your fluency in the language or the vocabulary in the language to read a book so that is like the best way that you can uh, improve your language skills and these days like you watch series and stuff so turn on the subtitles and constantly keep reading so involuntarily you will start you know understanding or getting new new words and you will start implementing or using those words in certain situations which you wouldn't even know right so always uh, make sure that you read stuff so don't ever stop reading because reading is a very good habit it gives you the vocabulary the confidence it builds your character very well right so uh, read good books and uh, i think that is uh, pretty much it so like uh, if you have uh, any questions so we can take up in the qa and uh, i can answer whatever i know yes yeah it's pretty much it over to you rakshit 
so before taking up the questions uh, i would like to uh, let uh, over the shiva prakash if you would like to talk a uh, few of the things of his ex- share his experience during this lockdown because it was very difficult to getting placed in the companies so i want shiva prakash to give a talk on his experience okay rukshit thank you uh, and uh, very good evening to all uh, uh, present here i am shiva prakash uh, from uh, department of is uh, pursuing uh, final year uh, when it comes to uh, my senior and your senior uh, uh, nishant uh, has uh, shared his uh, experience and uh, some tips and tricks uh, to crack the interview and all uh, when it comes to the experience of mine uh, uh, for the infosys uh, i have uh like uh, uh before uh, placing to the infosys i have shortlisted for the uh, entity data i have cleared uh, two rounds uh, in the entity data uh, like uh, online coding round uh, aptitude and uh, uh, gd uh, group discussion and uh, when it comes to the technical round what i faced is uh, network issue uh, before going to it means uh, before uh, going to any interview or uh, uh, any uh, exams and all these things uh, you should be go- uh, you should check that uh, you have good internet or connection with the laptops and all or uh, and uh, should be you should take uh, where you uh, think uh, where you feel that uh, you you can fl- freely attend uh, without any disturbance and all these things amele matte innond i i come to the infosys ali Uh, pre- uh, infosys uh, preparation plus uh, interview alli en samasya aitu andre like uh, 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 first round uh, aptitude ella uh, uh, rounds ittu and then uh, i cleared it and uh, infosys uh, uh, during the technical interview en aitu andre like namge uh, schedule idittu some day 4 uh, Uh, for pm gena ittu and uh, it for uh, 19 minutes uh, so nan en madde before uh, starting the interview uh, i log on to the log, log in and uh, uh, sit and sat but uh, nan en madde andre uh, join aade but uh, login andre avrige request madirilla ange login aagi age idle agide later enaitu uh, like uh, 419 aitu nan en tilkonde the time is scheduled for me is uh, 419 uh, it was scheduled for 49 but i thought uh, sure 419 ig anta tilkonde it's for 19 minutes of interview and then nan en madre login aad takshana login aad takshana avaru kelidru nan first question why you are so late for the interview anta nange aamele nange anka ante then i thought that uh, it was scheduled for 19 419 but i was uh, i was joined late anta ಆಮೇಲೆ ಅವರಿಗೆ ರಿಕ್ವೆಸ್ಟ್ ಮಾಡಿದೆ ಸರ್ ಸಾರಿ ಸರ್ ಆ ತರ ಆ ತರ ರಿಕ್ವೆಸ್ಟ್ ಮಾಡಿ ಲೈಕ್ ಅವ್ರಿಗೆ ಗೊತ್ತಾಯ್ತು ಅನ್ಸುತ್ತೆ ಓಕೆ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿ ಅವ್ರು ಏನ್ ಮಾಡಿದ್ರು ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಕ್ವಶನ್ಸ್ ಡೈರೆಕ್ಟ್ ಅವರು ಟೆಕ್ನಿಕಲ್ ಕ್ವಶನ್ಸ್ ಏನಿತ್ತು ಅದನ್ನ ಪ್ರೊಸೆಸ್ ಮಾಡಿದ್ರು ಅಂಡ್ ದೆನ್ ಮತ್ತೆ ಇನ್ನೊಂದು ಏನಂದ್ರೆ ಎಲ್ಲಾ ಎಚ್ ಆರ್ಸ್ ಅಥವಾ ಇಂಟರ್ವ್ಯೂವರ್ಸ್ ಇದೇ ತರ ಇರಲ್ಲ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಕ್ಕೆ ಇಷ್ಟಪಡ್ತೀನಿ ಯಾಕೆಂದ್ರೆ ಎನ್ ಟಿ ಟಿ ಡೇಟಾದಲ್ಲಿ ನಾನು ನೆಟ್ವರ್ಕ್ ಇಶ್ಯೂ ಆಯ್ತು ಅಂದೆ ಸೇಮ್ ಟೆಕ್ನಿಕಲ್ ಪಾರ್ಟ್ ರೌಂಡ್ ಅಲ್ಲೇ ಆದ್ರೆ ಏನ್ ಮಾಡ್ಬಿಟ್ಟೆ ನನ್ನ ಫ್ರೆಂಡ್ ಗೆ ಕರ್ದೆ ಸ್ವಲ್ಪ ಇಂಟರ್ನೆಟ್ ಚೆಕ್ ಮಾಡುವಂತ ಅವ್ರಿಗೆ ಏನಾಗಿದೆ ಅದು ಸ್ವಲ್ಪ ಲೌಡ್ ಆಗಿ ಏನೋ ಕೇಳ್ದೆ ಅನ್ಸುತ್ತೆ ಸೊ ಅವ್ರಿಗೆ ಏನಾಯ್ತು ಬ್ಯಾಡ್ ಇಂಪ್ರೆಷನ್ ಕ್ರಿಯೇಟ್ ಆಯ್ತು ಸೊ ಎನ್ ಟಿ ಟಿ ಡೇಟಾಗೆ ಶಾರ್ಟ್ ಲಿಸ್ಟ್ ಆಗದೆ ಇರೋದು ಅದೇ ಕಾರಣ ಅನ್ಕೊಂತೀನಿ ಬಟ್ ಎನಿವೆ ಇನ್ಫೋಸಿಸ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಪ್ಲೇಸ್ ಆದೆ ಅಂಡ್ ದೆನ್ ಪ್ರಿಪರೇಷನ್ ಅಂತ ಏನಾದ್ರು ಬಂದ್ರೆ ನಾನೊಂದು ಡಾಕ್ಯುಮೆಂಟ್ ಶೇರ್ ಮಾಡ್ಬೋದಲ್ಲ ರಕ್ಷಿತ್ shall i share the screen ha ah, share mari whatsapp group ha ah, is okay okay share mari ha ha ready no problem ha ah, okay. is my screen visible rakshit ha ah, yes sir yes yes visible word document ಹಲೋ ರಕ್ಷಿತ್ ನಿಶಾಂತ್ ಅಣ್ಣ ತುಂಬಾ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ತುಂಬಾ ಇಂಟರ್ವ್ಯೂಸ್ ಬಗ್ಗೆ ಅದಕ್ಕಿಂತ ಮುಂಚೆ ಏನೇನ್ ಮಾಡ್ಬೇಕಂತ ತುಂಬಾ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ಸ್ ನ ಹೇಳಿದ್ರು ಬಟ್ 
ಬಂದಾಗ ಏನೇನ್ ಮಾಡ್ಬೇಕಂತ ಇದೆ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಏನಂದ್ರೆ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಆ ಲಿಂಕ್ಡ್ ಇನ್ ಅಕೌಂಟ್ ಒಂದಿದೆ ಲಿಂಕ್ಡ್ ಇನ್ ಅಂತ ತುಂಬಾ ಜನ ಕೇಳಿರ್ಬೋದು ಬಟ್ ಅಕೌಂಟ್ ತುಂಬಾ ಜನದ ಹತ್ರ ಇಲ್ದೇ ಇರ್ಬೋದು ಸೊ ಕ್ರಿಯೇಟ್ ಆನ್ ಅಕೌಂಟ್ ಅಂದ ಲಿಂಕ್ಡ್ ಇನ್ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಈಸಿಲಿ ಗೆಟ್ ಕನೆಕ್ಟ್ ವಿತ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಕಂಪನಿ ಪೀಪಲ್ ಎಚ್ ಆರ್ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಫಾಲೋ ಟು ದ ಕಂಪನೀಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಈಸಿಲಿ ಕನೆಕ್ಟೆಡ್ ಟು ದ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಗೆಟ್ ಅಪ್ಡೇಟ್ಸ್ ಆನ್ ದ ಜಾಬ್ ಅಪ್ಡೇಟ್ಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಆಲ್ ದೀಸ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ನನ್ಗೆ ಮತ್ತೆ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ಸ್ ಎಲ್ಲ ಏನ್ ಆಗಿತ್ತು ರೆಸ್ಯೂಮ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಹಾಕ್ದಾಗ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿದ್ರೆ ಸರ್ಟಿಫಿಕೇಶನ್ಸ್ ಎಲ್ಲ ಮಾಡ್ಕೊಂಡಿದ್ದೆ ಲೈಕ್ ಎನ್ ಪಿ ಟಿ ಎಲ್ ಎನ್ ಪಿ ಟಿ ಎಲ್ ಕ್ಲೌಡ್ ಕ್ಲೌಡ್ ಕಂಪ್ಯೂಟಿಂಗ್ ಬಗ್ಗೆ ಅದು ವಿತ್ ಗುಡ್ ಸ್ಕೋರ್ ಮಾಡಿದೆ ಅದರಲ್ಲಿ ಅಂಡ್ ದೆನ್ ನೀವು ಕೂಡ ಎನ್ ಪಿ ಟಿ ಎಲ್ ಮತ್ತೆ ಯು ಡೆಮಿ ಕೋರ್ಸರ ತುಂಬಾ ಆನ್ಲೈನ್ ಪ್ಲಾಟ್ಫಾರ್ಮ್ಸ್ ಇದೆ ನಿಮ್ಗೆ ಚೂಸ್ ಚೂಸ್ ಮಾಡ್ಕೊಂಡು ನಿಮ್ಗೆ ಯಾವಾಗ ಫ್ರೀ ಇರುತ್ತೋ ಅವಾಗೆಲ್ಲ ಕ್ಲಿಯರ್ ಮಾಡ್ಕೊಳ್ಳಿ ಇಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ಆಡ್ ಅಪ್ ಟು ದ ಆಡ್ ಮಾಡಿದಾಗ ರೆಸ್ಯೂಮ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಇಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ಹೆಲ್ಪ್ಫುಲ್ ಫಾರ್ ದ ಇಂಟರ್ವ್ಯೂ ಅಂಡ್ ಯಾವ್ದಾದ್ರು ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಏನೇ ಇದ್ರು ಕೂಡ ನಿಮ್ಗೆ ಅದು ಹೆಲ್ಪ್ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಲೈಕ್ ಪ್ರಾಕ್ಟೀಸ್ ಕೋಡಿಂಗ್ ಬಂದಾಗ ಕೋಡಿಂಗ್ ನ ಎಲ್ಲೆಲ್ಲಿ ಪ್ರಾಕ್ಟೀಸ್ ಮಾಡ್ಬೋದು ನೀವು ಅಂತ ಹ್ಯಾಕರ್ ರ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಮತ್ತೆ ಹ್ಯಾಕರ್ ಹರ್ತ್ ಅಂತ ಎರಡ್ ಪ್ಲಾಟ್ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ಇದೆ ಬಟ್ ಅದಕ್ಕಿಂತ ತುಂಬಾ ಪ್ಲಾಟ್ಫಾರ್ಮ್ಸ್ ಇದೆ ಕೋಡ್ ಕೋಡ್ಸ್ ಎಫ್ ಮತ್ತೆ ಇನ್ನು ಏನೇನು ಬಟ್ ಇವು ಎರಡು ತುಂಬಾ ಚೆನ್ನಾಗಿದೆ ನೋಡಿ ನೀವ್ ಇದ್ರಲ್ಲಿ ಕೋಡಿಂಗ್ ಪ್ರಾಕ್ಟೀಸ್ ಮಾಡ್ಕೋಬಹುದು ವಿತ್ ನಿಮ್ಗೆ ಯಾವ್ದು ಕಂಫರ್ಟ್ ತುಂಬ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ನಿಮ್ ಲ್ಯಾಂಗ್ವೇಜ್ ಪ್ರೋಗ್ರಾಮಿಂಗ್ ಲ್ಯಾಂಗ್ವೇಜ್ ಯಾವ್ದು ಚೂಸ್ ಮಾಡ್ಕೊಂಡ್ ಬೇಕಾದ್ರು ನೀವು ಇದನ್ನ ಮಾಡ್ಕೋಬಹುದು ಏನು ಪ್ರಾಕ್ಟೀಸ್ ಮಾಡ್ಕೋಬಹುದು ತುಂಬಾ ಕಂಪನೀಸ್ ಏನ್ ಮಾಡ್ತವೆ ತುಂಬಾ ಕಂಪನೀಸ್ ಅನ್ನೋದಕ್ಕಿಂತ ಕೆಲವು ಕಂಪನೀಸ್ ಮಾತ್ರ ಲ್ಯಾಂಗ್ವೇಜ್ ಗೆ ರೆಸ್ಟ್ರಿಕ್ಷನ್ಸ್ ಹಾಕಿರ್ತೆ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಲೈಕ್ ಯು ನೀಡ್ ಟು ಕೋಡ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಸಿ ಇಟ್ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ಆರ್ ಯು ನೀಡ್ ಟು ಕೋಡ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಜಾವ್ ಇಟ್ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ಬಟ್ ಮೋಸ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಕಂಪನೀಸ್ ಏನಂದ್ರೆ ಅವರು ಲ್ಯಾಂಗ್ವೇಜ್ ಏನು ರೆಸ್ಟ್ರಿಕ್ಷನ್ಸ್ ಇಡಲ್ಲ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಎಲ್ಲಾ ಲ್ಯಾಂಗ್ವೇಜಸ್ ನ ಆಪ್ಷನ್ಸ್ ಕೊಟ್ಟಿರ್ತಾರೆ ನೀವು ಯಾವ್ದು ಚೂಸ್ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ನಿಮ್ಗೆ ಯಾವ್ದು ಕಂಫರ್ಟ್ ಅನ್ಸುತ್ತೋ ಅದನ್ನ ನೀವು ಚೂಸ್ ಮಾಡ್ಕೋಬಹುದು ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಚೂಸ್ ಎನಿ ಆಫ್ ಯುವರ್ ಲ್ಯಾಂಗ್ವೇಜ್ ಅಂಡ್ ದೆನ್ ಈಗ ಪ್ರಾಕ್ಟೀಸ್ ಮಾಡ್ಬೇಕಾದ್ರೆ ಅಥವಾ ನೀವು ಯಾವಾಗ್ಲು ಇದು ಏನು ಕಂಪೈಲ್ ಮಾಡ್ಬೇಕು ಪ್ರೋಗ್ರಾಮ್ಸ್ ನೀವು ಬರ್ದಿದ್ದನ್ನ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿದ್ರೆ ನೀವು ಆನ್ಲೈನ್ ಕಂಪೈಲರ್ಸ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಜಿ ಡಿ ಬಿ ಕಂಪೈಲರ್ ಇದೆ ಪ್ರೋಗ್ರಾಮೈಸ್ ಇದೆ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ನಾನು ಲೀಸ್ಟ್ ಮಾಡಿರೋದು ಏನಂದ್ರೆ ಸ್ವಲ್ಪ ಈ ತರ ಇದೆ ಅಂತ ಅಷ್ಟೇ ಬಟ್ ದೇರ್ ಆರ್ ಮೆನಿ ಥಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಮೆನಿ ಅಪ್ಲಿಕೇಶನ್ಸ್ ಲೈಕ್ ದಿಸ್ ನೀವು ಅದನ್ನ ಕೂಡ ಯೂಸ್ ಮಾಡ್ಕೋಬಹುದು ಬಟ್ ಇವೆಲ್ಲ ಯೂಸರ್ ಫ್ರೆಂಡ್ಲಿ ಇದೆ ನಿಮ್ಗೆ ಯಾವ್ದು ಚೂಸ್ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಯಾವ್ದು ಬೇಕೋ ಅದನ್ನ ಚೂಸ್ ಮಾಡ್ಕೊಳ್ಳಿ ಅಂಡ್ ದೆನ್ ಪ್ಲೇಸ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಪ್ರಿಪರೇಷನ್ ಆಪ್ಟಿಟ್ಯೂಡ್ ಗೆ ಮತ್ತೆ ಲಾಜಿಕಲ್ ರೀಸನಿಂಗ್ ವರ್ಬಲ್ ಇದಕ್ಕೆಲ್ಲ ಏನ್ ರೆಫರ್ ಮಾಡಿದ್ದು ಅಂದ್ರೆ ನಾನು ಐಡಿಯಾ ಬಿಕ್ಸ್ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಲಿಂಕ್ ಕೊಟ್ಟಿದೀನಿ ಬೇಕಾದ್ರೆ ಇದನ್ನ ನಾನು ಗ್ರೂಪ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಕೂಡ ಶೇರ್ ಮಾಡಕ್ ಹೇಳ್ತೀನಿ ರಕ್ಷಿತ್ಗೆ ಅಂಡ್ ದೆನ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಮ್ ವೇದ ಟಾಪರ್ ಅಂತ ಈ ತರ ಎಲ್ಲ ತುಂಬಾ ಸುಮಾರು ಇದೆ ನಿಮ್ಗೆ ಯಾವ್ದ್ ಬೇಕೋ ಅದನ್ನ ಚೂಸ್ ಮಾಡ್ಕೊಳ್ಳಿ ಅಂಡ್ ದೆನ್ ಇನ್ನೊಂದ್ ಏನಂದ್ರೆ ಇನ್ನೊಂದು ಎಕ್ಸಾಮ್ ಆಪ್ಟಿಟ್ಯೂಡ್ ಮತ್ತೆ ರೀಸನ್ ವರ್ಬಲ್ ಲಾಜಿಕಲ್ ರೀಸನಿಂಗ್ ಇದಕ್ಕೆಲ್ಲ ಒಂದು ಇದೇ ಬರುತ್ತೆ ಅದು ಬುಕ್ ಬರುತ್ತೆ ಮೆಕ್ರೆಲ್ ಒಂದ್ ಒಂದ್ ಬುಕ್ ಬರುತ್ತೆ ಮತ್ತೆ ಹರಿಯಾಂತ್ ಒಂದ್ ಪಬ್ಲಿಕೇಶನ್ ಬುಕ್ ಬರುತ್ತೆ ಅದನ್ನು ಬೇಕಾದ್ರೆ ರೆಫರ್ ಮಾಡಿ ಅಂಡ್ ದೆನ್ ಮತ್
ನಮ್ಗೆ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ನಮ್ಗೆ ರೆಕ್ರೂಟ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಗೆ ಬಂದಿದ್ದು ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಡ್ಯೂ ಟು ಕೋವಿಡ್ ಏನಾಗ್ಬಿಡ್ತು ಲೈಕ್ ನಾವು ಕಂಪನೀಸ್ ಬರಲ್ಲ ಆತರ ಅಂತ ಏನೇನೋ ಅನ್ಕೊಂಡಿದ್ವಿ ಬಟ್ ಆತರ ಏನಾಗಿಲ್ಲ ತುಂಬಾ ಕಂಪನೀಸ್ ಬಂತು ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಮೋರ್ ದ್ಯಾನ್ ಒನ್ ಹಂಡ್ರೆಡ್ ರೀಚ್ ಆಗಿರ್ಬೋದು ನಮ್ ಕಂಪನೀಸ್ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಕಾಲೇಜ್ ಅಲ್ಲೇ ಬಂದಿರ್ತಕ್ಕಂಥ ಕಂಪನೀಸ್ ಅವ್ರು ತುಂಬಾ ಸಿದ್ಧಾರ್ಥ್ ಸರ್ ತುಂಬಾ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಹೊರಗಡೆಯಿಂದನು ಲಿಂಕ್ಸ್ ನ ಶೇರ್ ಮಾಡ್ತಾರೆ ಬಟ್ ಯಾವುದು ನಮ್ಗೆ ಅನ್ಸುತ್ತೆ ಅದನ್ನ ನಾವು ಚೂಸ್ ಮಾಡ್ಕೊಂಡಿದ್ದು ಮತ್ತೆ ಇನ್ನೊಂದು ಏನಂದ್ರೆ ಲೈಕ್ ಕಂಪನೀಸ್ ಬಗ್ಗೆ ಏನ್ ಭಯ ಪಡೋದೇನ್ ಬೇಕಲ್ಲ ಬಟ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಡೂ ಈಸ್ ನೀವು ಪ್ರಿಪರೇಷನ್ ಮಾಡಬೇಕು ಪ್ರಿಪರೇಷನ್ ಮಾಡ್ಬಿಟ್ಟು ಯಾವ ಕಂಪನಿ ಆ ಆ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಅನ್ನೋ ಕಾನ್ಫಿಡೆನ್ಸ್ ಅಲ್ಲೇ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಪ್ರಿಪರೇಷನ್ ಚೆನ್ನಾಗಿದ್ರೆ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಅನ್ನೋ ಕಾನ್ಫಿಡೆನ್ಸ್ ಅಲ್ಲೇ ಇರ್ತೀರಾ ಸೊ ಆಗಿಲ್ಲ ಅಂದ್ರೂ ಏನ್ ಬೇಜಾರ್ ಮಾಡ್ಕೊಳ್ಳೋ ಅವಶ್ಯಕತೆ ಇಲ್ಲ ಸೊ ಏನಂದ್ರೆ ಲೈಕ್ ಟ್ರೈ ಮಾಡ್ತಾ ಇದ್ರೆ ಯು ವಿಲ್ ಗೆಟ್ ಡೆಫಿನೆಟ್ಲಿ ಗೆಟ್ ಪ್ಲೇಸ್ಡ್ ಏನ್ ತೊಂದರೆ ಇಲ್ಲ ಬಟ್ ಕಂಪನೀಸ್ ಬಗ್ಗೆ ಏನ್ ಚಿಂತೆ ಪಡೋದೇನ್ ಬೇಡ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ರೆಕ್ರೂಟ್ಮೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಆಗಲ್ಲ ಕಂಪನೀಸ್ ಬರಲ್ಲ ಕೋವಿಡ್ ಸಿಚುವೇಶನ್ ಇದೆ ಅದು ಇದೆ ಇದಿದೆ ಅಂತ ಬಟ್ ಬರುತ್ತೆ ಕಂಪನೀಸ್ ಏನ್ ತೊಂದರೆ ಇಲ್ಲ ಮತ್ತೆ ಏನಾದ್ರೂ ಇನ್ಫಾರ್ಮೇಶನ್ಸ್ ಮತ್ತೆ ಏನಾದ್ರೂ ಕ್ವಶನ್ಸ್ ಇದ್ರೆ ಯು ಕೆನ್ ಆಸ್ಕ್ ಓವರ್ ಟು ಯು ರಕ್ಷಿತ್ ಅಂಡ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ beautiful session from two of you you have uh, shared your experience as well as uh, your thought process to all the students uh, I, I, i request all of you to stay another 5 minutes of session uh, i would call uh, mr kartik are you there i am here okay he is going to talk about like five to 10 minutes about government exams if you are focusing on any government exams uh, rather than going for any it sectors or private jobs so he is going to take over for about 10 minutes so it's over to you kartik thank you rakshit uh, basically uh, great thanks to mr nishant and shiv prakash shiv prakash is my batchmate but he is from information science and uh, i am from the branch of mechanical so basically when speaking to government exam uh, many of you guys may have planned uh, just a second uh, sorry for the interruption uh, sure. there is some disturbance from your side can you please share? from my side yeah yeah from your side one second one second uh, is it good now or uh, still any no, issues we can still hear some disturbance one second uh, I think you guys can just go with Q&A if you have for two minutes. I will just change my phone. Okay, friends, if you have any uh, queries to ask to our uh, panelists, uh, you can uh, just uh, go to the chat box or uh, uh, you can just unmute yourself and talk. Uh, I have a question to both of you. When to start uh, the placement training? Like, how to, when, uh, at what time is the right time to start for aptitude, logical, right, like that? yeah sure um i'll take that question so uh, there's as such like you know uh, it's never a right time you start the be- the faster you start the better right so uh, all these uh, aptitude and logical uh, whatever uh, you study for this right so you have plenty of resources and uh, it's uh, you know it's a one time study kind of thing right so if you know the formulas and stuff you'll be able to solve the problems and there are a lot of logical stuff so uh, it's a, a kind of make a practice of solving such questions maybe start from your uh, second year or third year of engineering so i guess like most of the colleges nowadays have something called placement training uh, where they teach students about these aptitude and how to face the questions with aptitude and all these things so uh, that should be uh, sufficient and on the technical front you know it's it's better the sooner you start so the more uh, maybe you start in the first year by the end of fourth year you would have a very good hold on maybe at least one language right so uh, it's always uh, it's a relative time there is not a specific time where you should start because if you are entering engineering with a you know mindset of getting a job it should be in your mind from the day one to start for the preparation right so it's a relative thing it's not like you need to start in the second year or third year it depends on you know person to person based on their interest basically and uh, actually to add on to that uh, uh, shiv prakash shared a few uh, online compilers and uh, the list of the coding uh, platform right so uh, i would suggest uh, uh, go with the uh, lead code because uh, with lead code you have uh, a very good you know the standard of questions are really good so you get uh, questions which are asked in amazon google and companies like this so you get to know what kind of questions they are asking and what is the 
actual uh, you know uh, um, what do you say the solutions that they are expecting you can find the solutions also very easily but try it on your own first and if you are not able to solve it the solutions are always there and bleed code is an excellent platform and uh, you can uh, for the online compilers uh, to add on to what shri prakash shared there is one compiler called as repl.it right so uh, this compiler is very good so you can compile any language almost all languages and uh, the advantage of using this is you can automatically export this to github right so if you create a github account you can automatically export this to github and you will be able to add that your resume add that to your resume if you do a good project you will be a resume as well so go ahead with these compilers there are plenty of options but i feel these are the best ones that you can uh, choose and go ahead with so yeah did i answer your question dakshit Uh, yes, but when did you start? Okay, uh, I never actually uh, thought of a specific time where I started. So uh, for the aptitude, uh, I really did not, you know, uh, sit and prepare for it. It was basically I just went and attended it. So uh, for the coding part, I wouldn't say it was a practice kind of thing. But uh, yeah, maybe in the second year, I started with Android development. So that is when I actually got introduced to coding, and from that time, I. Yeah, I think that is the point where I actually started my uh, uh, career with uh, you know coding basically. Ah, uh, what about you, Prakash? When did you start preparing for aptitude like this logic? Hmm, from uh, second year itself, uh, we started uh, coding, uh, coding part and uh, aptitude. Ah, uh, namke Linet ma'am matte you know bro, Nandesh siru matte Santosh sir and the placement siru bro. Ah, uh, mostly. ನಿಮ್ ಬ್ಯಾಚ್ ಅವ್ರಿಗೆ ಅಷ್ಟು ಗೊತ್ತಿಲ್ಲ ಅನ್ಸುತ್ತೆ ಸೊ ಅವರೆಲ್ಲ ಕ್ಲಾಸ್ ತಗೊಂಬೇಕಾದ್ರೆ ಡೈಲಿ ಡೈಲಿ ಹೇಳ್ತಾ ಇದ್ರು ನೀವ್ ಈಗ್ಲಿಂದಾನೆ ಪ್ಲೇಸ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಗೆ ರೆಡಿ ಆಗಿ ಈಗ್ಲಿಂದಾನೆ ಪ್ಲೇಸ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಗೆ ರೆಡಿ ಆಗಿ ಅಂತ ಸೊ ಅವ್ರ ವರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಅವ್ರದ ಆತರ ಹೇಳೋದಕ್ಕೇನೋ ಗೊತ್ತಿಲ್ಲ ಬಟ್ ಡೈಲಿ ಒಂದೊಂದು ಕ್ವಶನ್ ಆತರನೇ ಪ್ರಾಕ್ಟೀಸ್ ಮಾಡ್ಕೊಂಡು ಮಾಡ್ಕೊಂಡು ಇಟ್ ವಾಸ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಕಂಫರ್ಟಬಲ್ ವಿತ್ ಆಪ್ಟಿಟ್ಯೂಡ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಕೋಡಿಂಗ್ ಕ್ವಶನ್ಸ್ ಆತರನೇ ಪ್ರಾಕ್ಟೀಸ್ ಮಾಡ್ಕೊಂಡು ಮಾಡ್ಕೊಂಡು ಆಗಿದೆ ಅಷ್ಟೆ So I guess everyone got their point. Uh, so uh, from today only you can start practicing day by day at least two to three questions. So I guess Karthik has joined now. Karthik, are you on the line? Yeah, I'm on the line. Is any glitches right now? Like, is it fine? Uh, it, it is fine. You can uh, take over for about five to ten minutes on government exams. Sure, sure. Uh, we had two beautiful persons in the room like you, Prakash H.V. from IS and... our so called brother who I, i never met in my i mean college circle like nishant i have heard him about him very much uh, thank you guys for sharing your experience to some it students who are that to come to the it fields maybe on their core branches as well as the it fields like some companies like infosys tcs and so on uh, now moving to the government exams uh, i would share my experience that i have cleared the national defense academy in the year 2017 and combined defense service exam in the year 2019 and uh, i have just cleared the written exams so there may be some guys who are from mainly from ec branches who want to go or from cs who might want to join ias like uh, or uh, some other courses like engineering services so i would uh, simply suggest you guys some beautiful ideas is like that uh, uh, you guys should prepare from the your own books like if you are joining to engineering indian engineering services the main focuses will be just on your subjects like it will be beginning from uh, pcds for computer science like programming c and data structure from the beginning till the final year of engineering of your computer science like there will be every subject related to data structures as well as uh, the programming languages and whenever it goes to ec it will be from signals uh, as well as some different topics which you are studying throughout your year so if you guys feel that your percentage of getting 60% someone might have said to you this is the thing i would add like to add there might be some person saying to you uh, saying you that uh, getting 60% of marks in total year would be enough for you to get placed but if you guys are really focusing on government exam i bet you you, you must get around 80 to 85% in your academics so that you could pop up on basically a uh, few months a few weeks ago there was an uh, entrance exam called as ssc which was for army and as well as navy it was not a on field work but it was like a government general uh, as well as some um, office works the cut off percentage from engineering was about 80 to 85% so i would really suggest all guys that you few can you feel that yeah nanu on the advanced engineering exam barithini 
ಇನ್ನೊಂದು ಮೂರು ವರ್ಷ ಆದ್ಮೇಲೆ ಗವರ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಮ್ ಬರ್ತೀನಿ ಆರಾಮಾಗಿ ಓದೋಣ ಇಂಜಿನಿಯರಿಂಗ್ ಮುಗ್ಸೋಣ ದೇರ್ ಯು ಮೈ ಮ ಗೈಸ್ ಮಸ್ಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಅ ಪ್ಲಾನ್ ದಟ್ ಇಫ್ ಐ ವೋಂಟ್ ಗೆಟ್ ಅ ಜಾಬ್ ಬೇಸಿಕ್ಲಿ ನಾಟ್ ಐ ಟಿ ಇಫ್ ಐ ವೋಂಟ್ ಗೆಟ್ ಅ ಜಾಬ್ ಇನ್ ಗವರ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಮ್ ಐ ಮಸ್ಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಅ ಬ್ಯಾಕಪ್ ವಿತ್ ಮೀ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಅನ್ ಐ ಟಿ ಜಾಬ್ ಆರ್ ಸಮಥಿಂಗ್ ಎಲ್ಸ್ ನಾನು ಬರೀ ಗವರ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಮ್ ಬರಿತೀನಿ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಅಟೆಂಪ್ಟ್ ಅಲ್ಲೇ ಪಾಸ್ ಮಾಡ್ತೀನಿ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ದೇರ್ ಮೇ ಬಿ ಮೆನಿ ಪೀಪಲ್ ಹೂ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಡೂ ಇಟ್ ಬಟ್ ದೇರ್ ಆರ್ ಸಮ್ ಗ್ಲಿಚಸ್ ಇನ್ ಯುವರ್ ಲೈಫ್ ಮೇ ಬಿ ಏನೋ ಒಂದ್ ಸತಿ ಎಕ್ಸಾಮ್ ಬರ್ತಾ ಯು ಮೇ ಯು ಮೇ ಮೇ ನಾಟ್ ಬಿ ವೆಲ್ ಸೊ ಯು ಕುಡ್ ನಾಟ್ ಟೇಕ್ ಇಟ್ ಸೊ ದಟ್ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಸ್ಟಿಲ್ ವೈಟ್ ಫಾರ್ ಒನ್ ಮೋರ್ ಇಯರ್ ಐ ಗಿವ್ ಐ ವಿಲ್ ಗಿವ್ ಯು ಅ ಗ್ರೇಟ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ ಮೈ ಬ್ರದರ್ ಮೈ ಸೀನಿಯರ್ ಬ್ರದರ್ ಹಿ ಹಾಸ್ ಅಟೆಂಪ್ಟ್ ಡಿ ಸಿ ಎಕ್ಸಾಮ್ ಫಾರ್ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಟೈಮ್ಸ್ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಐ ಎಸ್ ಫಾರ್ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಟೈಮ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಫೋರ್ ಟೈಮ್ಸ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ನಾಟ್ ಕ್ಲಿಯರ್ ದ ಎಕ್ಸಾಮ್ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಹಿ ವಾಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ವೆಲ್ ಹಿ ಡ್ರಾಪ್ಟ್ ಐ ಟಿಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಇ ದೆನ್ ವೆಂಟ್ ಟು ದೆನ್ ಟು ಪ್ಲಾನ್ ಫಾರ್ ದ ಗವರ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಮ್ ಬಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಡಿಂಟ್ ಡೂ ದಟ್ ನಾವು ಈ ಸಫರಿಂಗ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಇ ಡೋಂಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ದಟ್ ವರ್ಕ್ ಟು ಡೂ ಸೋ ದಟ್ ಇ ಕುಡ್ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಮೇಕ್ ಹಿಮ್ ಇಸ್ ಮನಿ ಯೂಸ್ ಟು ದ ಕಂಪನಿ ಸೊ ದಟ್ ಯು ಗೈಸ್ ಕುಡ್ ನಾಟ್ ಆಕ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ಟರ್ ಇವನ್ ಕಂಪ್ಲೀಟಿಂಗ್ ಇಂಜಿನಿಯರಿಂಗ್ ಯು ಗೈಸ್ ಮೇ ನಾಟ್ ಆಸ್ಕ್ ಯುವರ್ ಪೇರೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಟು ಗೆಟ್ ಟ್ರೈನ್ಡ್ ಇನ್ ಸಮ್ ಕಂಪನೀಸ್ ರಾದರ್ ದನ್ ಯು ವರ್ಕ್ ಆನ್ ಯುವರ್ ಓನ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದ ಮನಿ ಯು ಗೆಟ್ ಯು ಕೆನ್ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಪ್ರಾಕ್ಟೀಸ್ ಟು ದ ಗವರ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಮ್ಸ್ ಆಸ್ ವೆಲ್ ಸೊ ಒನ್ ಮೋರ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ ಇಸ್ ದಟ್ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟ್ ಪ್ರಿಪೇರಿಂಗ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಟುಡೇ ಆನ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ವೆನ್ ಎವರ್ ಯು ಜಾಯ್ನ್ ಐ ಟಿ ಯು ಮೇ ಆಸ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದ ಬ್ರದರ್ ನಿಶಾಂತ್ ಹಿ ಮೇ ಸೇ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಅ ಪ್ರೆಷರ್ ಆನ್ ವಾಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ದ ವರ್ಕ್ ಲೋಡ್ ಯು ಮೇ ನಾಟ್ ಇವನ್ ಗೆಟ್ ಫೈವ್ ಮಿನಿಟ್ಸ್ ಟು ಗೆಟ್ ಫ್ರೀ ಅಂಡ್ ಇಫ್ ಯು ಪ್ಲಾನ್ ದಟ್ ಓಕೆ ಬೆಳಿಗ್ಗೆಯಿಂದ ಮಧ್ಯಾಹ್ನ ತಂಗೆ ಕೆಲಸ ಮಾಡೋಣ ಸಂಜೆ ಮೇಲೆ ನೀಟ್ ಆಗಿ ಒಂದು ಫ್ರೆಶ್ ಅಪ್ ಆಗ್ಬಿಟ್ಟು ಓದಕ್ಕೆ ಹೋಗೋಣ ಯು ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಲೈಕ್ ಇಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಲೈಕ್ ಗೆಟಿಂಗ್ ಡೂಮ್ಡ್ ಇನ್ ಟು ವೆಲ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಸೇಯಿಂಗ್ ದಟ್ ಐ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಜಂಪ್ ಅಪ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಅಟ್ ಆಲ್ ಪಾಸಿಬಲ್ ದೇ ಮೇ ಬಿ ಸಮ್ ಪರ್ಸನ್ಸ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಟೂ ಆಫ್ ಟೆನ್ ಆರ್ ಟೂ ಆಫ್ ಫಿಫ್ಟಿ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಡೂ ದಿಸ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿಯರ್ ಓನ್ ಇಂಟ್ರೆಸ್ಟ್ ಅಂಡ್ ದಟ್ ಓನ್ ಕಾನ್ಫಿಡೆನ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದೆಮ್ ಬಟ್ ಐ ಫೀಲ್ ದಟ್ ಯು ಗೈ ಶುಡ್ ಪ್ರಿಫೇರ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ನೌ ಆ ನಾವ್ ಕಮಿಂಗ್ ಟು ದ ಗವರ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಪಾರ್ಟ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಇಫ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ರೈಟಿಂಗ್ ಐ ಎ ಎಸ್ ದೇನ್ ದೇರ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಟೂ ಟಾಪಿಕ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಆಪ್ಷನ್ಸ್ ವೇರ್ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಐದರ್ ಟೇಕ್ ಸೋಷಿಯಾಲಜಿ ಆರ್ ಸಮ್ ಅದರ್ ಪಾಲಿಟಿಕ್ಸ್ ರಿಲೇಟೆಡ್ ಆರ್ ಎಲ್ಸ್ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಗೋ ವಿತ್ ಯುವರ್ ಇಂಜಿನಿಯರಿಂಗ್ ಪಾರ್ಟ್ ಇಫ್ ಎಲ್ಸ್ ಯು ಗೈಸ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಬಿ ಗುಡ್ ಅಟ್ ಆಪ್ಟಿಟ್ಯೂಡ್ಸ್ ವಿಚ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಎ ಗ್ರೇಟ್ ಇಂಪ್ಯಾಕ್ಟ್ ಆನ್ ಆಲ್ ಯುವರ್ ಪ್ಲೇಸ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಡ್ರೈವ್ಸ್ ಎಸ್ ವೆಲ್ ಎಸ್ ದ ಗವರ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಮ್ಸ್ ವೆನ್ ಎವರ್ ಮೂವಿಂಗ್ ವಿತ್ ಇಂಜಿನಿಯರಿಂಗ್ ಸರ್ವಿಸಸ್ ಯು ನೀಡ್ ಎವ್ರಿ ಬಿಟ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಯುವರ್ ಇಂಜಿನಿಯರಿಂಗ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ ವಿಚ್ ಯು ಲರ್ನ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ನೌ ಆನ್ ಸೊ ದಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಕುಡ್ ಬಿ ಹೆಲ್ಪ್ಫುಲ್ ಫಾರ್ ಯುವರ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಮ್ಸ್ ಎಸ್ ವೆಲ್ ಸೊ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟ್ ಪ್ರಿಪೇರಿಂಗ್ ಡೋಂಟ್ ಫೀಲ್ ದಟ್ ಮಾರ್ಕ್ಸ್ ಗೆಟಿಂಗ್ ತರ್ಟಿ ಫೈವ್ ಪರ್ಸೆಂಟೇಜ್ ಆಫ್ ಮಾರ್ಕ್ ಆರ್ ಗೆಟಿಂಗ್ ಪಾಸ್ಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಇನಫ್ ಸ್ಟಡಿ ವೆಲ್ ಯು ಮೈಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಸೀನ್ ದ ಪೇಪರ್ಸ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ವಿಟ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ಬಿನ್ ವೆರಿ ಟಫ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಡೋಂಟ್ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಥಿಂಕ್ ದೇರ್ ಇಸ್ ಒನ್ ಮೋರ್ ಗ್ಲಿಚ್ ಇನ್ ಸಮ್ ಪೀಪಲ್ಸ್ ಮೈಂಡ್ ಇಫ್ ದೇರ್ ಆರ್ ಸಮ್ ನಾನ್ ಐ ಟಿಸ್ ಐ ಡೋಂಟ್ ಥಿಂಕ್ ದೇರ್ ಆರ್ ಎನಿ ನಾನ್ ಐ ಟಿಸ್ ಇಯರ್ ಇವನ್ ಫಾರ್ ಐ ಐ ಟಿಸ್ ಯು
on 10:30 am so is there any queries is there any doubts you would like to ask the speakers the panel about government exams or about preparations or uh, about their experience already they have shared is there anything uh, yes sir can you unmute yourself ah okay so hello everyone uh, myself sesang i am from uh, daungere sorry i am not of your college i got this link from in a whatsapp uh, so i it was a really a informative session and i just wanted to know i am an ec student uh, i just wanted to know that there is a say that uh, we should be aware of the subjects of cs like os dbms computer networking is that so necessary um yeah so uh, it's not like you know a necessity kind of thing but uh, it's good to have knowledge on all these stuff right so if i'm not wrong in your ac syllabus uh, maybe somewhere in your uh, second year or third year you would have networks and os as well as subjects right so uh, it's good to have knowledge on this but uh, you know uh, it's always you know a thing you can do for your learning purposes so it's very good uh, in understanding basically you know how a programming language works what is happening in the system when your acn is basically it gives you an idea about how the connectivity happens so right now uh, there's internet right so how does the internet work so what is the components of internet and uh, how does the communication take place between two different indistinct systems so all these things are knowledge that will help you a lot even in your coding it might not seem relevant in the beginning but it will definitely help so but it's not like you know um, an absolute no kind of thing but going further you will need to know all these stuff uh, so like uh, for the interview purpose also uh, it's required uh, they don't actually like focus much on that part so it will be you know like a very top level kind of questions so you can google certain uh, questions that would you know uh, occur very frequently in interviews so in os there are a few concepts like deadlocks and robin uh, round robin scheduling so all these are like you know very common questions so i suggest you just take a look at those things but i don't think it's really necessary to know it in depth but going forward you will definitely need to know it it's very good to know it in the beginning itself okay thank you very much yeah so other students can uh, speak to the speaker you can unmute yourself it feels happy that uh, there are students from all over karnataka various regions hi is i audible my yeah, name is mr yeah. hello yeah go ahead go ahead. Uh, okay. my name is harsha i am from eighth sem uh, let me know the importance of linkedin and github accounts and how to maintain uh, linkedin Okay. so uh linkedin and github are like you know officially the two things that you know give you an edge over all the other people right so github basically you can use it in order to make your project open source so uh, say you are working on a project right so you are working on some project which would definitely make a good impact on the people right so what you can do is create this project uh, put it on github okay make it an open source project and you can request people to contribute to your project right so you might not so know certain stuff so you can ask people who know certain stuff to contribute towards your project so this is what is called as an open source project so so just a very powerful technology whatever open source technology we have right now it's really powerful right so uh, that is the main importance of github so you give the uh, basic uh, uh, just give me a second i think my headphones have a problem yeah am i audible hello hello yeah yeah you are audible so uh, did you miss any part i don't know because my headphones got disconnected in between uh, maybe you could just repeat what you said again it'll be okay so uh, basically yeah i was talking about github right so this is where you can actually put your projects and you can request people from you know the open source community
Okay, there are many people who think. So this. Yeah, I'm sorry, I'm having some problem. I'll just turn off my video. Yeah, yeah, okay. Uh, yeah, give me a second. Sorry for this. Yeah, I'm audible now. Yeah, yeah, you are. Yeah. So uh, that is the major uh, importance of having a GitHub profile, right? So even I have a few projects that I've put it. So it's basically one, you can think of, you know, storing your projects. Another thing is if you want to go further, develop your product. So in that case, you can, you know, request people from over the world to contribute towards your project. So that is the main importance of GitHub. And uh, coming to LinkedIn, right? So LinkedIn is like Facebook for uh companies i'd say right so uh, it's a very good uh, platform in order to build your network right so when you go into big companies you know say amazon microsoft google and all these companies right it's very difficult for the uh, say you apply through their websites right so it's where the chances are very rare that you know they pick up your application because there are thousands and thousands of people applying so uh, what can LinkedIn help here is basically contact some recruiter from that same company and get a good you know conversation going and directly ask them whether there are certain open positions available and you can uh, send them your resume and this will you know uh, speed up the process that is one advantage another advantage is that it will get ensured that your resume is at least looked upon right so there might be chances of your resume getting completely missed in case of, you know, you're applying through online and there are so many people applying. So there are chances where your resume get, met, might get missed, right? So this is where you can use LinkedIn. Build a proper network so that you know many people. So you can find people from all over the world on LinkedIn, working in different companies, speak to them, understand how stuff works in their company and understand what you need to learn in order to grow. And these are the things that you can get through LinkedIn. So it's, it's a very essential thing that you need to have in order to develop a network. I guess, yeah, those are pretty much of the importance about uh, GitHub and LinkedIn. I hope I've answered your uh, question. Are you there? Yeah, yeah, you are. Yeah. Uh, yeah, thank you. If there is any, any other questions, you can ask. Feel free to uh, unmute yourself. Or you can just uh, drop it in the chat box below. And uh, even from uh, YouTube viewers live, you can also put that in the live chat. And we'll, we are going to read to the speaker. 20 participants are watching through YouTube too. Uh, I don't think there are any other questions, Rakshat. Maybe we can end. Yeah. Is there anything the the panelist uh, would like to add, Nishan? Yeah. So I mean, yeah. Just uh, go ahead and you know start preparing for your. Uh, interviews i mean don't look at it as just preparing for your interviews look at it as building your skills and growing yourself as a person and learn everything every day basically learn one new thing one small new thing learn it every day and don't stop that the moment you stop learning new things that is when you have stopped your growth so i would say that is the best way to make sure that you are um, growing at a good rate and read books and start learning uh, one new thing every single day. I guess that it that would make a lot of difference in your life. And uh, yeah, lastly, I'd like to thank Tech with Mike Rakshat and all the other members uh, for providing me this opportunities and uh, the audience. You've been great. Yep, thank you. Uh, hi everyone. There is one question. Okay, okay, I'll continue. Uh, so hi, uh, my name is Pranavi. So I'm from EC Department. So are there any uh, jobs based on our uh, core uh, like core subjects yes uh, i think uh, you'll have many uh, based on uh, vlsi 
uh, I'm not sure whether these companies, uh, you know, come for the campus recruitments, uh, but you can definitely check out. So, you know, LinkedIn is a very good platform where you can find out companies which actually deal with this. And as far as I know, VLSI is a very good field that is there. And there are many, plenty of companies that have opportunities for your core fields, right? So right from even ISRO has opportunities for your core field. So there are many, many companies. So just go ahead and look through that. Right? As of now, I'm not sure which are the specific companies that deal with this. But uh, right out of my mind, I feel like ISRO is a very good option if you're looking at uh, core uh, uh, related jobs. So you can, I think there is an exam that you need to give the syllabus as similar to GATE syllabus. Um, yeah, and uh, over and above that, you can uh, take a look in LinkedIn to find out which are these specific companies and try, uh, you know, approaching them off campus through LinkedIn. And that would be a good uh, thing, I guess. Thank you. A short notice, uh, uh, in seven months, uh, they're going to be a GATE 2022. If you're going to get ready for any competitive exams, like GATE, GATE XC paper. So there is still seven months left. If you are planning for ESC, then literally there is one year left. So you can prepare from now onwards. So there is a one question about the government exams in chat box. Sir, how we will prepare for competitive exams like IAS, UPSC exams? Uh... To prepare for the UPSC exams, guys, first thing you need to cover is uh, complete all the, uh, the chapters which you learned from 6th. Basically, from the class of 6th, you need to go with the history part, basically the social science parts, like history, politics, uh, geography. And there are two parts like UPSC with IAS and uh, Indian, uh, Indian Engineering Service or Engineering Service exam, both are the same. If you really want to go with engineering service exams, guys, you need to start from the engineering topics that you are studying from the beginning, like from the first semester, related to your branch till the end. Uh, like uh, if you are from EC, there are many thousand topics like uh, systems and signals or uh, analog and digital. I have, there are many such things. So if you are planning for ESC, you need to be very good, uh, very, very good in your uh, engineering topics. Uh, like every point, like every chapters and every even small points too. But whenever you go with uh, UPSC for IAS and all, you need a great uh, social science topics, uh, idea and social science topics like history or uh, politics as well as geography and all. And you need to be very good in uh, aptitudes as well, like logical and uh, verb, uh, not verbal, logical and quantitative plays a major role there. And... Uh, Ah, yeah, having these two things at the very beginning, at, like at the very first part, would be very helpful for you to get, uh, I mean, the prelims, to get cleared in the prelims for the part. Okay, Rakshad, can I answer? This is Harsha. Can I continue? Yeah, answer? Can I okay, this is Harsha of HM, uh, AAT. Okay, you killed the UPSC, IAS, you crack the UPSC. So, better, in my student life, if you start reading um, your newspaper, that is The Hindu. Hindu and Tabanda, it is just like an um, uh, Britannica encyclopedia. You need to concentrate on specific topics like editorials and main international relationships, economic related uh, things. As a student, uh, when you grow up, you, you need to neglect uh, sports topic, political agendas, and regional topics. As Karthik said, it is one of the toughest subjects. How do you ignore it? But it is all about. So as a student, engineering student, by that you will you have both benefit. One though vocabulary and the goal is to be um, the goal is not to be a, uh, not to read a book. The goal is to become a reader. So Nivo you have to master your things. And uh, likewise, I need to uh, stress on the point that uh, NCRTs are the best uh, for uh, uh, preparations. NCRT is from 8 to 12. Uh, history, bodu, geography, bodu, poli, uh, polity, bodu, or economics. If you have additional points, agi, for example, politics, politics, Lakshmi Kantana, reform, bodu, it is about next stages. But uh, you as a student life you concentrate on the Hindu or the Indian Express you suggest matara, go with Hindu and moreover try to reduce the topic. Just in you UPSC exams ke bandaga, it is not about you yes to you have a lot of resources. 
ಅಂಡ್ ಗೋ ಆನ್ ಚೆಕಿಂಗ್ ದ ವೆಬ್ಸೈಟ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಇನ್ ಸೈಡ್ ಐ ಎ ಎಸ್ ಅಂತ ಒಂದ್ ವೆಬ್ಸೈಟ್ ಬರುತ್ತೆ ಆಮೇಲೆ ವಿಜನ್ ಐ ಎ ಎಸ್ ಇರ್ಬೋದು ಅಥವಾ ಐ ಎ ಎಸ್ ಬಾಬಾ ಇರ್ಬೋದು ಆಮೇಲೆ ಪಿ ಐ ಬಿ ಇರ್ಬೋದು ಸೊ ಇವೆಲ್ಲ ನೀವು ನೋಡ್ಕೊಂಡ್ರೆ ಅಂಡ್ ಯು ವಿಲ್ ಎಂಡ್ ಅಪ್ ವಿತ್ ಯು ಪಿ ಎಸ್ ಸಿ ಯು ಪಿ ಎಸ್ ಸಿ ಅನ್ನೋದು ಟಫ್ ಅಂತ ಏನಲ್ಲ ಬಿ ಎಸ್ ಸ್ಟೂಡೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಗಳು ಪಾಸ್ ಮಾಡ್ಬೋದು ಬಿ ಎಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಕಾಮನ್ ಡಿಗ್ರಿ ಸೊ ಎಲ್ಲರಿಗೂ ಅದು ಸಾಧ್ಯ ಇದೆ ಇಫ್ ಯು ಏಮ್ ಫಾರ್ ಬಿಗ್ ಯು ವಿಲ್ ಅಟ್ ಲೀಸ್ಟ್ ಗೆಟ್ ಅ ಗೆಟ್ ಅ ಪಿ ಎಸ್ ಐ ಆರ್ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಇಫ್ ಯು ರೆಡಿ ಫಾರ್ ಯು ಪಿ ಎಸ್ ಸಿ ಯು ವಿಲ್ ಗೆಟ್ ಗೆಟ್ I uh, easily pass off uh, your KS, that is, uh, you can become a Tashildar and uh, upon stages you can be an IAS also uh, uh, upon your works. So, it is also an easy, not tough one thing. Illa. The only thing you need to know, Andhra, if you want to clean your own words, you will be getting, you will get passed out, you will be clear. Like, uh, Ravidi Chananan, our uh, best IAS, IPS officer, you will be getting passed out, 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 you will be getting passed out. ತುಂಬಾ ಜನ ಐ ಪಿ ಎಸ್ ಆಫೀಸರ್ ಐ ಎಸ್ ಆಫೀಸರ್ಸ್ ಗಳು ಏನು ಇಲ್ದಲ್ಲ ಟ್ರಾಶ್ ಬಾಟಮ್ ಲೆವೆಲ್ ಗಿಂತ ಈಗ ಇದ್ ಮಾಡ್ತಾರೆ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಥಿಂಗ್ ಇಸ್ ಯು ನೀಡ್ ಕನ್ಸಿಸ್ಟೆನ್ಸಿ ಇರ್ಬೇಕು ಆಮೇಲೆ ಡೆಡಿಕೇಶನ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಡಿಟರ್ಮಿನೇಷನ್ ಇಸ್ ಮಸ್ಟ್ ಸೊ ಓ ಟು ಯು ಒನ್ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಹರ್ಷ ಹೇಳ್ದಂಗೆ ಇವಾಗ ಸ್ವಲ್ಪ ಸ್ಟೂಡೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಗಳು ಇರ್ತಾರೆ ಯಾವ ತರ ಯೋಚನೆ ಮಾಡ್ತಾರ ಇಲ್ಲ ತ್ರೀ ಇಯರ್ಸ್ ಬಿಟ್ಟು ಎಕ್ಸಾಮ್ ಬರ್ತೀನಿ ಎರಡ್ ಮೂರು ವರ್ಷ ಬಿಟ್ಟು ಎಕ್ಸಾಮ್ ಬರೀತಾ ಇದೀನಿ ನಾಳೆಯಿಂದ ಲೈಕ್ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಇಯರ್ ಇಂದ ಓದೋಣ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಮಂತ್ ಇಂದ ಓದೋಣ ಯು ಪಿ ಎಸ್ ಸಿ ಆಸ್ಪಿರೆಂಟ್ ಶುಡ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಇಸ್ ಯು ಶುಡ್ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದ ಬಿಗಿನಿಂಗ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ಆಲ್ರೆಡಿ ಟೂ ಲೇಟ್ ಇಫ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ರೈಟಿಂಗ್ ಅನ್ ಯು ಪಿ ಎಸ್ ಸಿ ಎಕ್ಸಾಮ್ ಯು ಶುಡ್ ಮೈಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟೆಡ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಇಯರ್ ಆಸ್ ವೆಲ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಇಫ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ಫೋಕಸಿಂಗ್ ಯು ವಾಂಟ್ ರೈಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಇನ್ ಟೂ ಟು ತ್ರೀ ಇಯರ್ಸ್ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದ ವೆರಿ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಇಯರ್ now you are too late you need to prepare a time table first common thing is that for all upsc aspirants you guys you prepare a time table and the time table na ready maadi okay morning inda nanish madbeku as he said start with the newspaper in the morning go on with the editorials not the sports thing and focus on what is really needed first thing now before the time table as harsha said harsha helidage yen yen beku anadanna first sort maadkoli adikkagi correct agi time table hakoli dinna ke you may not take the whole day for the UPSC. You have to take the various stress, the manicals, the exams, the college materials, the placement to be a gap, the focus on the IAC, the placement to be a gap, the gap at the end of the day, the IAC prepare, the IAC prepare, the IAC prepare, you need to focus all the things, you guys prepare a timetable, prepare a timetable in your mind first, saying that I should do it, I need to prepare it, that's the first thing you need, and the uh, going with that you prepare a time table for what you do uh, what should you do daily don't leave a break saying that you are on match but now as at as it is in pubg has been started in india the other ke mukkal government exam barayarella ivaga already border alli nitkan fight madu thara pubg il idare so adanella on chur kami madi nimgo time baruthe you can play i don't won't say that don't watch movies don't go with instagram don't uh, play pubg but make a schedule of everything you do plan well prepare well government exam barithin andarige all the best anything you need guys you can contact me and arsha for government things you, you may share you the links as well raksha timge kalisthivi links anna nanu arsha kalisthivi you can share it in the group as well that's all okay me. last thing ada all the best ene doubts idu nanna thana athwa karthika thana bani if we know we will definitely help you in that yavade government exams bage irbodu and you can concentrate on banking exams also new aptitude alli matte verbal alli if you are good then you can easily clear banking exam also go to your uh, if there is any doubt you can directly contact uh, the our dm has on the uh, whatsapp group so we will upload these uh, doubts to the respective panelists and we will collect the answers i guess uh, the session uh, has already uh, it's been a time so at the end of the day i would like to say is uh, whatever you do even the private jobs or government jobs anything consistency is very important that is uh, what the summarizes uh, summarizes this uh, uh, event consistency just ivat uh, vandena kelde josh yeah madana yena one week full josh idda amale tuss aabardu yene paristhiti idru ade plan marbeku na consistency agirbeku that is the what they have said uh, in a summarized way. So, now I hand over to Veena. Veena, are you there? Ah, yes. Okay. Ah, no. Okay. Uh, take it. Okay. Good evening to all. It's a great honor to propose a vote of thanks on this day. I'm Veena, studying third year mechanical engineering from, mechanic, uh, from AIT and member of Tech
us through webinar and all to update our knowledge so this time we picked a wonderful topic that is placement guide and i hope all of you have enjoyed this session when it comes to speaker mr nishant of uh, alumni of our college working in rakutam and mr shuprakash the student of our college in is branch placed that infosys and kartik uh, senior of our college from mechanical department and arsha also the senior of our college from mechanical department they were wonderfully shared their experience towards us i believe that at the end of this session you have come to know how to prepare for placements and government exams and i would also express my heartfelt thanks to ct jaydevar sir the principal of our college and dr satyanarayan sir the hod of our mechanical department and mr vilas patel sir and all the faculties of mechanical department and i thank the members of tech with mech for showing their interest in covering the event with good heart and lastly i would like to thank audience for your patience uh, listening